Hello once again I'm, and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. A uh, little project I have on today is uh, more for pleasure than anything else. Uh, a few weeks ago when I was in back in the UK on a visit I went to a car boot sale and I picked up uh, an old uh, Mamod steam engine. It was looked pretty rough actually, you'll see it in, in later in the video, but it was, it was in pretty poor condition. So uh, I'm just going to try and renovate this as, as much as possible. I'm not, uh, I don't intend running it or having it as a, uh, as a working model, uh, just so that I can make it look nice. Okay, so follow me in the next few frames and see how this job progresses. Well, this is what I found at a car boot sale in the UK. Uh, it's in pretty bad condition, actually. So I'm hoping I can restore this, make it look a bit nicer. The box is pretty tatty as well, actually, been repaired. Really, the box is not up to very much at all. So, uh, but it does have all the firing up instructions, etc., on the back and keywords as to what each bit is. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can restore this to its former glory, make it look nice. I won't be able to do much with the box, but then that's just the way of things. Uh, these things are actually worth an awful lot more money if they've still got a good quality box around them. But I'm afraid that's not going to happen with this little boy. So now we're just going to try and put some gunk on this. Uh, We'll pour this all over the place and then we'll just work that in with a with a paintbrush just to see how it, how well it goes. Put the lid back on this stuff in case I knock it over. So uh, oh that's coming that's not doing too bad at all actually. Uh, we'll just give this a bit of a coating. I think we might leave it to soak for a bit actually so uh, just to see how it uh, how it goes. Uh, I better take that, that little burner out and put it to one side so I can get all this stuff off. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's coming up okay, actually. Doesn't seem too bad. I'll let it soak for a bit now anyway and see how it, uh, how it, how it progresses and see how much it cleans off. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Leave that for a bit and see how it comes off. Okay. Well, here we are. It's an awful lot cleaner than it was. Uh, still need to clean up this boiler, I think. Uh, it would probably look quite nice if I can either polish it with brass or at least sandblast it or glass bead blast it so that uh, it looks a bit more like brass, actually, rather than just a dirty bit of metal. Anyway, uh, I've taken the firebox apart. Uh, it just slides apart. The only thing is, this is pretty... This is the cover plate. It's pretty rotten. Um, I may have to make a new one, but uh, I need to get some wadding or whatever that goes in the bottom of the, bo of the firebox here. Um, other than that, it doesn't look in bad nick, actually. So, uh, uh, but I do also need to replace this gauze, which is so rusted away, it, uh, it won't be any good at all. So uh, anyway, we'll carry on with this, uh, see how much we can strip it down. A lot of it's riveted, so it's gonna be difficult taking it apart. And I know there's two screws hold this, uh, this main frame in place, which hopefully we'll, I'll be able to take the boiler off. But um, most of this, most of these ancillaries all around here are all riveted as you can see is a rivet here there's two rivets in the side here uh, which hold the the piston and, and cylinder in place um, so pretty much uh, the majority of it is riveted together so it'll take a bit of getting getting apart i think but uh, we'll play with it uh, they're very small rivets as well so i may end up uh, substituting self-tapping screws for some of these rivets okay so let's carry on with this so here we have the steam engine, pretty well, as much as I can strip down. Um, a lot of these parts, like these, this, uh, well, I don't know what you'd call it really, but the part, this part of the frame is riveted on. Uh, it's a bit grubby here, but that'll be covered up by, the, by the, uh, the frame when it goes in, which is this thing. I've sandblasted it, so I just need to put a coat of paint on. 
then that can go back in place. Again, the burner, I've sandblasted. The wadding it was destroyed. Uh, the, the gauze that was in there would just fell apart, so that's gone. Uh, the, the cover plate that goes on here is pretty well, pretty rusty, but uh, I'm not gonna be firing this thing up anyway, so it's just really an ornament. Again, the boiler, um, I'm, in, I'm in two minds whether to uh, leave it with this dull, dull brass finish or whether to polish it up. Um, it's something that uh, I'll have to look to see which way I'm going to go with that. Um, but I, I've, some, I've well, bead blasted everything so that uh, everything's all nice and clean and it, look, it should look quite nice when it all goes back together. Okay, so next step is to start painting a few bits here like this. Uh, the saddle that uh, that holds the boiler in place, uh, that bit will have to be painted, and I'll paint the, the the burner as well, just so that it looks a bit nicer. Okay, so let's get on and paint these things, and I can start putting it all back together again. Well, there we are. They're all nicely painted up. Don't look too bad, actually. Not very glossy, but then uh, probably look a bit better with a more of a sheen rather than a, a glossy black. Uh, this bit uh, is, it holds the, the boiler in place. This is upside down at the moment, but uh, that's the, the little burner. I'm not gonna put anything, I might actually melt some candle in there. Uh, if I get a couple of tea lights or something to melt into there with the wick. So that would work instead of apparent, uh, methylated spirits. Here we are, seems to be running okay. Got a, got a blowtorch on it too, rather than using a little burner. But it's ticking away quite nicely. Well, there you are. That job went quite well actually in the end. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, you saw my little steam engine, some of the, the work as I progressed through it. Um, and obviously you saw it working as well, hopefully. So it was quite entertaining, uh, chunking away there. It was quite a, quite a li nice little piece of equipment working away there. So here it is anyway, as you can see, it's, uh, it's all together and put up together and everything, everything turns over and runs. Uh, you, as I say, I haven't used the burner. I've, I've kept it nice and clean with its wax in it and nice pink can of wax, so that looks quite smart. So anyway, look out for me for more videos in the future. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, there's some nice videos in the past, so look out for more in the future. Okay, goodbye.